electric field inside a cylindrical cavity within a cylinder so we are given a cylinder and this is a cross section of that it's a long cylinder which has a given charge density rho and we have a cavity cylindrical cavity inside the cylinder so it's a cross section you need to imagine that this part is cut off from the cylinder and the axis of this cavity and of that that of the cylinder are parallel so by prin principle of superposition because we want to find the field inside it we complete the cylinder by adding a the adding the missing part by of charge density rho and also adding at the same position a cylinder with charge density minus rho so now we can say that field at any point is now vector sum of both individual full cylinders so let's do that so e at any point inside the cavity is now e1 plus e2 e1 is due to the full cylinder and e2 is due to the negative negative cylinder which is filling the cavity so this is also imagined to be at the same place so here we know that due to the outside part of the cylinder field will be zero at the point p the field will only be due to the part of the cylinder which is inside so similarly for a smaller cylinder also the if you draw the circumference around that p point the field at p will only be due to the part inside due to the outer part the field is at p is going to be zero so that you can see it it, it should look like this so we only need to consider this these rings and the volume of the cylinder inside these rings so on the periphery of both the rings we have the point p so due to the first one the electric field is going to be in this direction so let's call it e1 and due to the smaller cylinder the field is going to be towards its center because it's negatively charged let's call it e2 so you can see that e1 has to be greater because this this volume is larger than this one so our formula of standard formula for this long rod so this as we discussed this is a cylinder going in and outside the plane so if the charge density on that is lambda coulomb per meter then the electric field e1 at this point is 2k lambda 1 by r1 r1 cap so in this direction in the direction of r1 vector and due to the second cylinder the field will be 2k lambda 2 by r2 r2 vector so r2 vector is along this and let's say the join line joining the two centers let's call it as a vector which is a constant now we don't know the term lambda so let's find lambda first so lambda is rho times volume of 1 meter of cylinder so if you take 1 meter of the cylinder and you find the charge on it that is nothing but lambda because lambda is coulomb per meter so we take the one cylinder of a uh, one meter of cylinder and find the charge on it and that should be lambda so for first cylinder it becomes rho into a1 into 1 so area times 1 this is the volume into rho this is the charge so a1 for the cylinder is pi r1 square and similarly lambda 2 for second cylinder is minus rho times a2 into 1 so minus rho into a2 is pi r2 square so this becomes minus rho pi r2 square so we put the values of lambda 1 and lambda 2 here because we want to find the field and one of the r1 will get cancelled one r2 will get cancelled and if you take the common terms out you will get 2k rho pi r1 vector minus r2 vector and you can see r1 vector minus r2 vector is a vector so our answer becomes rho a vector by 2 epsilon which is a constant which means field inside this cavity is constant 
and its direction is towards a vector which is the line joining the center of the of the cylinder and the cavity so this is this result is similar to that of a sphere so there also field was constant here also it is constant 